guys. Blessed Ostara. Happy spring equinox. Happy first day of spring. Happy Sunday. Happy day. How are you guys? I'm feeling really good today. I got some good rest last night. I was exhausted yesterday, you guys. Um, I did not go to the auction last night, but that's okay. I've touched base with Patty and Kat and, you know, I, there's only so much a girl can do. And you guys know that I was busy last week and all, you know, uh, on my own volition, uh, I wanted to get all this stuff done, but I got her done, but it took its toll. And last night I just crashed. So it felt good. Woke up this morning well rested. I'm having some delicious juice this morning. Cheers. And I haven't been juicing every day. It's been like three to four times a week, which I think is a good amount because honestly, um, I think sometimes it could be too much. You want to eat, eat your fruit too and your veggies too to get all the fiber and all that stuff. But anyway, still loving my juice. Good morning. I'm looking forward to later on today. Speaking of busy, this is going to be fun and also tiring at the same time. Um, for dinner this evening, we're going to... I'm not going to be able to celebrate other than I celebrate every minute, but I'm not going to be doing any formal ritual or anything for Ostara today. I'm going to wait until Wednesday, which is the full moon. But today, I'm going to really celebrate, which... Um, I'm looking forward to tonight. My daughter, uh, Danielle, my youngest daughter, is coming for a sleepover with my grandson, Carter, and my granddaughter, Cammy. So the four of us will be here at the nest having a sleepover and having fun and playing games and playing with eggs and doing all kinds of stuff. And, um, you know, it's funny now as a vegan, I'm not buying eggs, although my mother raises chickens and there's a woman down the street who has chickens, but um, I had fun decorating um, some of the little plastic cheap dollar store eggs with, um, if anybody saw my drag oil video, you saw the eggs and I'm going to use those to like set intentions with uh, on Wednesday. I'm all over the place this morning. So my daughter's coming later, but before that, Tom and Nick and everybody, the whole crew, Leo, my son-in-law too, are going to go to our favorite local pizza place and have dinner there. And you guys know I get my vegan pizza there, which is delicious, and you don't miss the cheese or anything. I just get a loaded veggie pie, which is amazing. And we'll play pinball there and hang out. And it's funny, my grandson, who is now six, said to me one day, I don't know why, I just like it here, meaning that place, and because he's been going since he's a baby, and now my granddaughter too. So, and then after that, they're going to come back here, and we're going to do the sleepover thing. So I'm looking forward to that. I don't get enough time um, to be able to do those kinds of things, and I think um, that this will help transition to and make it a little easier for my granddaughter, who's not yet three, to be comfortable if she wants to spend the night at grandma's and stuff like that. So I know a lot of you had great suggestions. I think specifically Marianne, Nana number three, you know, was saying that to do a big sleepover and stuff. So take took your advice, and uh, we've done that in the past. So I used to, when Carter was a baby, I used to go spend a lot of time. I would go spend the night over at their house, but times change, pe things change all kinds of stuff. They moved and I moved and yeah. So, but I treasure every minute, you know, and these memories are so fleeting and there's going to come a time when they're not going to want to spend the night at grandma's house. So I know how quick that goes. And, um, and then they're going to get ready to go visit my oldest daughter, Rachel, and my other two grandchildren, um, Riley and Jacoby in North Carolina. They're going to go down for Easter next week, which will be great. And, I'll be able to Skype with them all, and I got to get down there, you guys. I, uh, I need to, I need to get down there. Speaking of getting big, um, and yeah, and my oldest grandson Sean is getting big too. So, I haven't seen my son Jonathan in a while. I need to give him a hey, call your mother phone call. <laughs> but no news is good news. When things are quiet, quiet, I know things are do doing good. So. 
I hope things are doing good for you guys too and that you guys are all doing well. I've been catching up uh, while I was working and, and between Kamari and videos. Um, I was, I always keep in the background YouTube on my TV. So I've been catching up on a lot of your guys' artwork too and this hashtag event for the Creative Arts Collab fantasy, which is my favorite subject. Uh, I live in a fantasy world. Do you guys know? I believe in gnomes and fairies and elves and dragons and magic and it's just my favorite. So I really had a lot of fun um, creating my little uh, drag oil creatures, which if you didn't see my video, check it out. But they're right here next to me. And uh, I had a blast making them. So I want to make some more. And, you know, it is a lot harder with the film when you're filming this stuff because, you know, the pressure's on, right? So it's, it's a lot more relaxed if I can just create these without worrying about filming them. And, um, but I had a blast, and I had a blast watching everyone else. So check out, you know, just put in the search bar of YouTube the hashtag and then CAC Fantasy Art. And it'll come up with everybody's videos and stuff. And so that was a lot of fun. And I also made some eggs, like galaxy-style eggs, which I said I'll be writing my intentions and putting them in the eggs and setting them. It's kind of like at New Year, at Samhain, um, Halloween. It's, you know, that's where I kind of my New Year's resolutions, if you will, which I, I try to, I make a resolution not to make any resolutions. But, you know, setting your intentions for the year. And so this is kind of like a time to re-examine that and to reaffirm. And so, um, yeah, plus the birds are singing like crazy. And I, my fingers are itching to get in the dirt. I'll be doing that. I'll be planting some seeds Wednesday night that I got from Dina, Milady Lila, who sent me those in some happy mail. But hardcore, you know, getting tomato seeds. Uh, what am I going to do? Tomatoes, cucumbers. Mm, lots of herbs, oregano, basil, thyme, flowers. I'll let you know for sure what I'm going to be planting. I didn't plan on talking about it right now. But whatever, just getting my seeds going because I want to... Um, speaking of Kanmari, and you knew I couldn't let a video go by without it. My last... Oh, and I thought I was finished with the art supply category, right? So I finish up. I'm all proud of myself. I'm like, woohoo, good job, got through it, you know? And I was looking and I'm like, oh my God, I didn't do um, stamps and stencils. And for those of you who know, I've only seriously been arting, if you will, for the last year and a half or so. So I'm slowly building up my collection. Compare, you know, compared to some, I have. I mean, I know in my heart I have an abundance of everything, right? I'm not lacking for anything. But compared to some, I have a tremendous amount. And compared to others, I have very little. So what is my point? Stamps and stencils. I don't really have a lot of those, that category. So when I realized that I hadn't filmed that, I kind of was like, I even said on Facebook, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I forgot to film that the heck with it. I'm not getting rid of anything anyway. Blah, blah, blah. Well, no, I want to do this KonMari method to the end to have touched every single item that I own. I'm not going to throw in the towel now because I'm nearing the finish line and I'm getting tired of it. And I am. I think I have over 20 videos in my KonMari playlist, if you can believe it. Categories and subcategories, right? Lots of kimono or miscellaneous stuff uh but so i will be even though i said i wasn't going to true to form i will be filming um next week this week coming up one day um no pressure <laughs> my stamps and stencils and then that will be the end of my art supply category and what else is left home decor, which I told you, I will literally, you know, like be taking you on a tour around the house. Oh, the, the sun on the wall, it sparks joy. I'll touch it. I'll clean it. You know, things like that. I'll wake it up. 
but I'm not going to be removing things off the wall and things like that. I'm going to play my one-legged girl card and just not make things hard on myself. But again, when I'm done with everything, so home decor and then gardening. I sound like a broken record, but I have a lot of um, house plants that, you know, right next to me I'm sitting next to, as well as, um, not a lot, but I have a, a category for sure of pots, gardening supplies, things on the deck. I'm looking at the deck right now, and it's typical after the winter where there's bird seed everywhere and sticks and leaves, and it just looks sad and tired. I want to get out there with a broom and a brush and clean everything up and wake it up and awaken everything. So I look forward to that. And so that's what will be left with my Kanmari. And then sometime between home decor and gardening, I will be going top to bottom, windows open, cleaning this place, hardcore with a bucket of bleach and ammonia and vinegar and whatever I need, Dr. Bronner's and, uh, and some Murphy's oil soap, right? And just hardcore cleaning, windows, blinds, dusting, washing down the walls, steaming the carpet, moving furniture, cleaning, just polishing and ah, uh, for the new season and the spring. And it just already, I've shared with you guys how good it feels in here now, you know, because you have to keep up with it. Obviously you put, everything has its place. So when you're done with it, you have to put it back. Otherwise, it doesn't stay this way. But when you do that, it just, my mental state, you know, I'm, you guys know, I'm, I'm organized and, and this way by nature, but this is deeper than that. It's, it's deeper because there's, you know, I always had messy closets and messy drawers. You know, I was very neat and clean on the outside, but underneath, right? And I, a disorganized environment reflects a disorganized state of mind. And so when you can have this type of a Zen calm, it really has no other choice but to affect you. So I'm being affected in a very positive way. And uh, yeah, so there will be more Kamari coming up, but we are almost near the end. And uh, it's, you know, it has taken a lot, but the last, I think the last video that I'll do will be a, uh, in addition to a cottage tour, I will give you a rundown um, from why I began doing it to benefits, uh, any cons, if there are any, and so far, you guys, I haven't missed one thing I've let go of. If anything, I'm kind of like, hmm, I could do this again, and and be a little, uh, and maybe pick away at it more. But for now, I'm going to leave things alone and just calm down, Callie. Uh, but I look forward to having this done so I can more fully concentrate on more art. And also this week, you guys, speaking of art, I hope you checked out on the 15th the um, journal page that I created for the collaboration that I do with my beautiful gypsy sister, Miss Rita Marie, and I. Our Gypsy and the Witch uh, entry for this month was, is Ostara. So we've already had some group members show their work as well. Uh, Rita did a video. I did a video. We both released them at midnight and others in the group have released their work as well. And that's always a lot of fun. Uh, so check that out. I'll always put every, you know, all the links below. And... Um, Oh, one more thing I wanted to say about Kamari. I noticed that as I would post pictures, I think I mentioned this once before too. You know, I was posting pictures on Facebook throughout my process. What it sparks in others is what's fascinating to me because I know what it does to me. I know emotionally how I feel about my items and obviously, excuse me, <laughs> obviously um, I love all this stuff that I've had because... I have it. I've acquired it. I've brought it into my life, right? So obviously I love this stuff, but a lot of people I don't think, I think they misunderstood. And when they saw me lay it out, I think they were thinking, some people were thinking that I was letting go of everything. And they were like, oh my God, 
I'll take it. Oh, please stop. What, you know, what do you basically stop right there? <laughs> I gotta know right now before you go any further. Do you love me? Hey, listen, post who sings that below if you know. And I know that a lot of you know, okay? Um, <laughs> anyway, what am I trying to say? It was my, kind of mind-blowing to me. And, and one of the people who wanted to acquire some of my stuff, she's kind of getting, getting the crafting bug, is my friend AJ, Arlene. And I wanted to give her a shout-out. Hey, Arlene. Um, I haven't mentioned Arlene in a few months. And for those of you who've been following me for, for a while, no, Arlene has an amazing store in Gramsville, New York called AJ's Friends and Finds, and I have the honor of being able to have some of my artwork and some of my crafty items uh, for sale there at her store, in addition to many other amazing artists, and I'm thinking that Arlene probably will be putting some of her own things out there soon, uh, just, just a vibe I'm getting, but shout out to AJ's Friends and Finds, and shout out to you, Arlene, for being such a great friend. And uh, never fear, sister. There are many bottles from where the ones I let go of come from. Trust me. And Arlene's been showing up at the auction lately, too. So uh, she's got the bug. And uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to that. That, yes, I do sell some of my artwork. Uh, I'm not someone who likes to make the same item over and over again. Um, so my artwork tends to be more one of a kind. I'm just now really finding my niche and what I'm loving the most. So far, if I had to pick a favorite of what I like to create the most, um, definitely it's with polymer clay. And, uh, I love my junk drawer collages, the mixed media projects, that kind of stuff. I would have to say, uh, you know, that would be the first two, and if the third would be art journaling. Um, so, but again, I'm still kind of finding out, who am I, you know, as an artist, which is great. Oh, my God, you know. Uh, so, yeah, drag oils, intention eggs, KonMari. Uh, what are my plans for this week? I don't even know. I have a to-do list a mile this big, you know. Like I said, I'm going to concentrate. I try to stay in the moment, you know. So today is going to be family, dinner, sleepover, uh, which will go into tomorrow. And then I'm sure I'm going to be passed out, Grandma. Um, and But I do keep a kind of a want. If I see something on Pinterest or a video or comes in my imagination and I want to do a project, I'll always write it down. I keep a notebook near my art supplies in my little case over there. Uh, because I'll forget it for sure. And that way, if I'm ever like, oh, gee, what do I feel like making? I'll pull that out and there's good ideas. But if you guys have any requests specifically of things you'd like to see me create or ideas, let me know. Um, I will try to accommodate you. Uh, again, there are not enough hours in the day sometimes. Um, and, but yeah, what a life. I'm loving it. Um, I feel like I'm Oh my God, I have the greatest life in the world. But you know what, you guys, I really feel that way. And I hope you feel that way too because it's the only life we have, right? So we may as well love it, but I'm loving mine. I'm getting allergy. It's definitely pollen allergy season here. So excuse me as I chug a load some juice. All week I've been scratchy throat, runny eyes, blah, blah, blah. What are you going to do? Okay, I'm looking down at, at a uh, little list here. Oh, I know. This week, uh, speaking of things in the past, oh, and I also have a page down below, uh, Flying Spider on Facebook, which is my art page, kind of. So if there's anything you guys ever want, shoot me a line, because I am willing to uh, let go of my art for cash or barter. I like barter. Anyway, um, yes, speaking of the past, when I was accepted into the Deco Arts Helping Artists program, shout out to Deco Arts, um, one of my goals and uh, missions uh, at that time was to create art, teach art, share art with a larger audience 
in a social setting. And my dream from the time I was a child, uh, for those of you who know me, know how much I love my books. Uh, I am a voracious reader. Uh, from the time I could read, I've it's a huge part of my life, and I've always thought that a dream job for me would be to work in a library or a bookstore uh, type of situation. So when I was accepted into Deco Arts, I, said, I stated my intention to you guys, actually, uh, that I wanted to teach art in the, at the library for kids or whoever. I don't know. I didn't know. I just put it out there. And that my next door neighbor, neighbor, yes, I can speak, Peggy, works at the library. And then I had thrown this idea out to her and we kind of tossed it back and forth. That, yeah, that would be great. We should do that in the spring, blah, blah, blah. Here we are. Yesterday, I got a message on Facebook from Peggy saying, and she literally lives right next door. I could go, hey, Peggy, <laughs> saying to call her, text her, call her, whatever. So I did. And she asked me if I wanted to be involved in a project for children at the library in July, like July through August, working with these canvases and, and this is kind of the beginning. So I don't really know where this is going yet, but I don't care. I said yes immediately, of course, yes, okay? And here's this intention coming to fruition, right? Uh, so super excited, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. So I just, I get nervous. You know, I look, opportunity comes knocking. You either answer the door. You have a choice in life, right? All the time. That's what it is. You could say yes, and it takes you down this path. You could say no, and it takes you down this path. I want to say yes more in my life. Um, every day is precious. Every minute's precious. So um, if it feels good to me and my first intuition and my vibe is right on about it, I'm going for it. And I'm going for it with a joyful heart. So I'll keep you posted how that's going to be. So I'm excited about that. And what else did I want to... Oh, I'm looking over here. When last week when uh, I think I shared with you that my my uh, granddaughter, Cammie, came for a visit um, and... Just for like an hour, my daughter had an appointment to run and my grandson was at school. So she came over in the morning and literally within an hour, we played every game on my bookshelf, like from Operation to Jenga to Trouble to <laughs> Uno, you know, and uh, she's adorable. So I was like, Cammie, yeah, I don't often get a chance to have time alone with her. And I was like, Cammie, can grandma take your picture? And she said, no. And I was like, where? I want to take her picture, you know? And I'm like, oh, please. No, I'm negotiating with a two-year-old, you know? And no, she doesn't want me to. So finally, I think she got tired of me, like, being a nudge about it. She was like, okay, you know? And literally, she was had something in her hands, and she was like, no. And she looked up at me like, okay, go ahead. And I snapped the picture, and look at this, you guys. It's I'm going to... I frame this... Actually, Tom framed this for my daughter today, but... Isn't that exquisite? Sometimes you just catch it at the right moment. And I happened to catch it at the right moment. Her shirt says, imagine, you know, with the flower. And, uh, you know, and talk about fleeting, you know. And I am so blessed, you guys. And I know how blessed I am. And I, I've shared this with you guys before. You know, I count my blessings every day. And... Not only do I know how fleeting it all is, you know, I treasure this bec because of where I've come from and what I've gone through. You know, I could talk about, you know, I could do story time videos of all the horrible things that have happened in my life. I, it's not what I choose to concentrate on. We all have a certain amount of trials and tribulations that we need to it's lessons. It's all lessons. It goes back to that, right? I think, I believe that life is a school and we get lessons and you can learn them and move on to the next one. Or you can keep getting the same lesson over and over again. And you can look at life through <laughs> rose colored glasses, you know, cliches again, 
or there's a big squirrel right on the bird feeder right here. Yes, I know. Thank you. You're eating all my stuff. I get it. Um, what is it? It's a choice, you guys. That's all. It's a choice. It's a choice of how you look at your life. It's a choice of, uh, we all, I believe we all create our own reality. So I choose to create a wonderful, magical world and that's what's coming for me. And I believe, I want that for you guys too. Um, where is all this coming from? I always do this with you guys. It's become my, I hope you don't mind. I love you so much. What am I talking about? Blessings. Yeah. So I, I, I just, I don't want it to sound like I'm Pollyanna or I'm bragging or I'm like, la la la, my life's so great. My life's so great. So I'm just cautious. I want to be cautious of that. I don't want to sound like that. So I want to stay humble, you know? But I do want to share this. I took a picture of this and posted on Facebook just because I'm so excited, you guys. But if you didn't see it, oh yeah, going to see Hart and Cheap Trick and Joan Jett. And I'm going to get my tickets for the Jerry Garcia Band and um, Warren Haynes too. Gonna be a good summer for concerts. It's gonna be a good summer all in all. It's already turning out to be that way. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me wherever I go, whatever I do, I'll bring you, even if it's not a What's Up Wednesday or a Sunday, I'll I'll get footage because I'm a videographer like that, right? Yeah. You know what? Speaking of intentions and one of my goals this year, and I talk about this a lot, and now it's just excuses. Now I'm just giving you excuses because I've wanted to, I have a video editor on my computer, haven't opened it, maybe, well, I opened it maybe once or twice, haven't tried to learn it. Um, Nicholas got me a um, web, new webcam, as well as a new mic, not using them. When I, when I filmed my drag oil video, I used my phone again, propped up, which once again, wasn't happy with the angle, it wasn't close enough. You know, all of which can be achieved with the webcam that I have not set up or used. I don't know why I procrastinate these types of things. Speaking of obstacles and, you know, uh, creating our own reality, I do that sometimes and I don't get it. I don't know why I'm making it a little more difficult for myself because I know that the quality of my work will improve. Uh, so I am setting an intention to spend more time learning that because it's important to me. My channel's important to me. Growing my channel's important to me. Presenting a certain quality of video is important to me. And while I know I'm learning and I've come a long way, even in a year, I strive for more. And I'm surrounded by some amazing, wonderful people and incredible resources. I want to give another shout out again to the Creative Arts Collaboration, uh, most specifically Maricha, the Junk and Data Girl. I want to um, give you a special shout out because the work that you do over there blows me away and the resources that you pull. I mean, the three ad admins over there are amazing. It's, it's Maricha, Cinnamon Cooney, and Sigrid Soto. And all three are amazing, strong women. All three have channels here on YouTube. All three you should check out. Um, but Maricha, especially you seems to me, sister, that you have a million plates in the air and a million balls juggling and you're doing it well and you provide resources for us and support for the other group members and the other artists. And I so appreciate it as well as I know others do. So shout out to you guys. I'll put their links below because, uh, it's worth checking them out. And again, not only as, um, fellow artists, but as amazing, strong women. So, and each three are as different as night and day. And it's really very, very cool. I love that. So that's good. Um, what else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh gosh. When you, when I did my what's up Wednesday video, you guys saw Tom brought home Indian food that night. Wasn't that freaking amazing? I know I said freaking amazing. When I was driving to his house and I'm like, I want Indian food. When he walked through the door with that food, I was like, hallelujah. I couldn't believe it. 
you know? I was like, baby, oh my God, it's so amazing because he went out of his way to do that. But that was so cool. And we had a great night that night and we did watch after some misunderstanding. I was talking about Schitt's Creek, right? Season two on Amazon. They did release season one on Amazon. It's available for viewing. Well, we were looking for season two left and right. And the only information we could find was that it was released in Canada, the Canadian broadcasting system on that day, on the 16th at 8 PM or whatever. And, but not anything through Amazon. And I was like, baby, I saw it advertised on Amazon. I didn't pull it out of the air. I didn't, you know, pull it out of Shit's Creek. Like, and he's like, I know, but, and he's good about, he's such a, a computer genius whiz in so many ways um, that, you know, I don't doubt that what he's telling me, but I'm like, but I'm telling you, I even wrote it on my hand. I know where I saw it, you know? So finally he was able to download it from the Canadian broadcasting system or something. He went up buying the season through Amazon and that's what it was. It was available for purchase. So we did purchase it, which, because we didn't want to wait. So we got through the first uh, three episodes, two or, yeah, three. And oh, I love those guys. I love them. So again, shout out to Schitt's Creek. And if you don't want to pay for it, the first season is available um, on Amazon. And it's so worth it. S-C-H-I-T-T-S. -T -T uh, Eugene Levy, Catherine O'Hara. Uh, a new group. There's a young girl who plays uh, like the hotel clerk who's freaking amazing. The son, the daughter in the cast. Um, they're just, you're going to love it. Trust me. So that was fun. And also Tom, uh, Tom, he's always bringing me little presents. He's so good. He stopped. He found a new store on the way home from uh, driving Nick home one night um, that we have to check out. And he brought me a Krisna Kans candle it's a soy candle and it's nag champa and for those of you who know me know that nag champa is the only incense that i burn just like uh patchouli is the only oil that i wear although sometimes i'll put a little cinnamon oil like in my hair um nag champa is the only incense i burn with the exception of resin incense and sometimes some altar incense but so i'm gonna burn this uh wednesday night um, at the full moon and that was sweet and I th and we've also still been watching more South Park so oh my god can't get enough of that can't get enough so you guys listen I'm gonna wrap it up now I apologize that I do not have a auction haul to show you but what are you gonna do sometimes it be that way uh, I love you so much that's what I have to show you I have to show you my love and thank you for your support Welcome new subbies, hugs to old subbies. I love you guys so much. Um, I say that all the time, but I mean it. So brightest of blessings to you and happy spring equinox. Blessed Ostara. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you on Wednesday. If not sooner, you never know with me. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.